shifts that we are seeing today, the undeniable implosion of the ANC, the collapse of splinter parties like COPE, who were once thought of as the real contenders. We've seen the impotent and empty rage of the economic freedom fighters and the explosion of all sorts of new small parties made up of disgruntled and disillusioned South Africans. But the ANC's decline is now terminal. And the question is now, how fast? If this decline in support can be accelerated up until the election and then held there, and they, as they roll out their squeeze campaign, we will see the end of the African National Congress in 2024. If we wanted the DA to be effective and relevant, we'd have to learn to pick the issues by the impact that they would have on the lives of ordinary South Africans, and particularly vulnerable South Africans, and then not allow ourselves to be distracted from these issues by the new cycle of that day. Now again, it's a lot easier said than done. The cut and thrust of politics, particularly in today's fast-moving online social media world, is designed to put you into arguments and disputes. Before you know it, you're fighting on an issue that is nowhere near the thing that you said that you wanted to focus on. But I knew that we'd have to show incredible issue and message discipline. If we wanted to make an impact and prove to South Africans that the DA is the only party fighting for the things that really matter in their lives. 